Hi everyone. So in this video, I'll be uh, explaining the rule generation method um, where we'll use this example, the earlier uh, example uh, to find out the rules. Okay. But first I'll be writing the uh, rule generation technique. Okay. Or the method. So I'll just write it in a new page with a new color maybe. Okay. So rule generation. So you find out the set of items, the set of frequent items. Next, you have to find out the subset. So for every subset is of i. Here, what is i? i is the frequent set, okay, which we have found earlier using a priori algorithm, okay. So i is the frequent set here. In this example, I'll, I'll just show you obviously, but uh, you can see 135 is a frequent set, 235 is the frequent set. Okay, these two are the frequent sets. So here I will be 135 and 235. Okay, one time, the first time I will be 135, and the next time I will be 235. So I is basically uh, the frequent item set which we have found till now. So every subset is of I, what we need to do we need to um, output some rules okay output the rules like this i ignore my handwriting okay i'm better than a doctor anyways so s of i you see um, so s recommends i minus s okay this is the meaning is S recommends I minus S. So laptop recommends antivirus or antivirus recommends uh, laptop maybe likewise. So if there is a if support of uh, I by support of S is greater than or equal to minimum confidence value okay so like minimum support you will also be given minimum confidence okay uh, so if this particular thing is greater than minimum confidence then you can consider this particular rule is uh, implies i minus s as a valid rule okay so th this is the uh, uh, method okay now we'll be using this particular method to generate uh, the rules for the a priori algorithm okay so let's just use 135 and 235 so let's take 135 first so let's take 135 okay let's take this subset so i equal to 135 let's consider it okay now you see what are the subsets so s will be 1 3 right this will be uh, let's say okay let's not write it like this let's write it like this one three one five uh, three five and then we can have one <coughs> sorry we can have three we can have five so we need to write all the um, non-empty subsets of I right and we can have 135 also but it's uh, of no use we can write it but it's of no use you will know why so let's first consider 13 okay the subset 13 so what is the rule the rule is is implies I minus s so is implies I minus s so just substitute S is 1, one 3, right? So 1 and 3 recommends I minus S. What is I? 1, 3, 5. So 1, 3, 5 minus 1, 3, right? That means 1, 3 is actually recommending 5. Is it clear? Right? 1, 3 is actually recommending 5. So this is our first rule. 
now okay let's let's find out another rule let's take one five here so one five recommends what one five recommends three obviously right one five recommends three because it will be one three five minus one five which is three so this is another rule so let's say this is r2 this is rule two this is rule one so this is r1 right let's say r3 let's not write it here let's write it here r3 is uh let's say three five recommends one right you understand how it is one right three five recommends one three five minus three five which is one so three five recommends one we can have r4 as uh one recommends let's take this one as a subset is one recommends uh, 135 minus 1 which is 35 right and another one we can have let's say r5 r5 we can have 3 recommends 15 is it understood okay i'll 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 show you another break uh, by breaking it let's say r6 which is 5 let's take 5 as is so five recommends what is it one three five for all of you who is not understanding how am i writing it directly i'm doing it again so one three five minus s s is five right so what is the result five recommends one three that is how i'm writing all all the rules right so we have six rules obviously this rule is uh, invalid because you can see uh, one three five recommends one three five minus one three five which is one three five recommends null so it is invalid right we can discard it so this is rule number uh, seven maybe and it is discarded let's not use it now we need to find which of these six rules is valid using the minimum confidence let's say the minimum confidence value uh, for this particular example is uh, let's say 50 percent okay let's assume so now how do you find it r1 you see here 1 3 is recommending 5 so what is the formula it is support of i by support of s should be greater than equal to minimum confidence so support of i by support of s let's take a different color mm, okay support of i what is i here i is let's do it here support of i what is i i is 135 for all of this i is 135 right so support of 135 by support of what support of s what is s s is 13 so support of 13 what will be the result what is the support of 135 see in the previous uh 135 the support of it is 2 right so we can use this so support of 135 is 2 and support of 13 what is that support of 13 let's check it support of 13 is 3 right so we can just put it here which is i think 66 percent maybe 66.67 percent if i'm not wrong mm, yeah I think so so this is a, this is greater than equal to 50 percent right so it is valid this rule is valid let's find another one let's say uh, let's say r3 whether it is valid or not let's say r4 whether it is valid or not so here i will find support of 135 by support of one right because s is one here so support of one so it will be support of 135 is 2 and support of 1 is support of 1 support of 1 support of 1 is 3 right okay so 3 again you will see that it is 66.67 percent so this is a valid rule okay mm, let's find out something which is not valid let's say this one so support of one three five by support of three five which is 
2 by what is the support of 3 5 it's 3 okay again it is 66.67 uh, so it is valid what about r2 so it will be support of 1 3 5 by support of 1 5 so it will be 2 by what is support of 1 5 it is 2 so it is 2 so this is 100 percent right so obviously it is valid what about r5 r5 so support of 1 3 5 by support of 3 so 2 by what is support of 3 it is 4 right it is 4 so this is 40 this is 50 percent right okay let's take the minimum confidence as 60 percent then you can see that this is not a valid rule so we'll discard this rule okay what about the r6 in the same way the support of 135 is 2 and the support of 5 that is the left hand side uh, find it out support of left hand side 5 is 4 you see so 2 by 4 which is again 50 percent so this is also not a valid rule so the only valid rules are rule 1 rule 2 rule 3 and rule 4 okay so these four rules are actually accepted what is the meaning of this rule what are the insights which you'll get from this rule see one two three four five these are nothing but items right in real in reality they are the items here in mathematics in, in as a problem we are using it as numbers but in the real world one two three four five are basically some items so how will you uh, infer something from it so what we can say is uh, from the rule one we can say the item one and three when bought together also recommends that five is bought with them okay one three together is recommending the buying of five like you see when you buy an iphone along with a charger let's say one is iphone three is charger and five is a tempered glass okay so one three is actually recommending five so let's make a combo offer okay like this you can actually uh, find the relevance of using this uh, particular association rules okay so this is how the a priori algorithm works and this is how the rule generation um, technique actually works in the next video i'll be talking about the i'll explaining the, i'll be explaining the epic growth algorithm uh, using maybe some different example or maybe some complicated example but the, um, the rule generation technique will be same okay the algorithm for generating the frequent item set will be different but the ultimate uh, ultimately the fp growth algorithm will also give me some frequent sets right like i told you in the in the uh, first slide right um, yeah so frequent item sets will be given by a priori, a priori algorithm as well as fp growth algorithm so when i'll be explaining the fp growth algorithm so it will also output the frequent item sets right but the rule generation technique is common for both of them i'll, I'll i have explained the rule generation ex um, technique here in this video maybe i'll also be explaining there if someone sees that video independently maybe i'll be using that but the rule generation technique is same okay for both these algorithms the algorithms will work in different ways and they will give the frequent item sets okay uh, that is the difference but the rule generation technique will be same for both of them okay so in the next video i'll be explaining the fp growth algorithm thank you for watching